Hey, just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna vlog today. So, I'm gonna have a look at my uh, new to me truck. And, uh, oh, by the way, yeah. Keep telling the clouds it needs to find a better brand of shampoo, but never listens. So, I'm gonna walk down these stairs rather carefully. Uh, I'll see you at the truck. Alright, so this is my new to me 1990 Ford F-150. As you can see, it's got all the usual rust. But I really didn't pay much for it. You know, I, what was it, 1600 I think is what I paid for it. Which is uh, not bad. Um, as you can see, the interior is actually in really good shape. The dash, it's not all cracked up. You know, the door cards are in excellent condition. I had my keys on me. I could show you that the power windows actually work. Uh, the seat, I've been over it. This is it. And that's not a tear. That's actually just the tubing on the side here. I had the fabric frayed off. The seat otherwise is fully intact. It's very comfortable. Four-wheel drive system works just fine. And it's got the uh, best of all type of hubs manual lockers so it's even an xlt lariat top of the line truck you know, another thing i like dual tanks sorry about any wind noise because i don't have a wind sock for this thing yet where is that doggone thing But the other thing I love about this truck is I've got the five liter. Good old Ford 302 small block Windsor push rod V8. When I bought it, it had this canopy on it, which I mean, Lear's a good brand. And, and when it's cold though, it barely holds the thing open. A lot more clips holding this thing on than I'm used to seeing. So I'm used to seeing like one there and one down there, one down there, and one over here. This has got what, one, two, three, four. It's got six clamps per side. That is, that's nuts. But, uh, you know, when I got this thing, you know, battery was dead. I still haven't traded that in for the core. Got myself some jumper cables and immediately did my oil change because I'm pretty sure it hadn't been done in a very long time. So, I'm quite happy with the truck, but there are a few things that, that bother me about it. Uh, one, a previous owner, um, I have no idea what happened, but they somehow got a ratchet or yeah, ratchet wrench socket stuck on the base of the old, um, uh, oxygen sensor and so yeah i can't change that out <laughs> so my engine is not exactly the most economical right now because the computer is running on default maps and as we all know those are never very fuel efficient um another thing is brakes just need to be totally redone it's not that they don't work 
it's actually that the rears work way too good. Um, and so I have to be very careful about putting my foot on the brake because I will lock up my back tires like no, no problem at all. Another thing is, is that the wheel position sensors are probably dead um, and need to be replaced. Hopefully the wiring's so good. Let's see, beyond that, yeah. Uh, future plans for the truck is I'm thinking about a rough country uh, two and a half inch lift, um, upgrading to 17 inch rims from the 15s, putting 35s on it. Um, I am actually planning a manual swap in it. I want to get a Tremec TR50 or 4050 and uh, put that in it. I was thinking about the ZFS542 uh, that came, you know, in this, um, at least I think it was in the F250s and 350s behind the 460. But, you know, the same, um, I was, I'm going to probably have to edit some of this stalling out. But, you know, the, uh, the reason that I'm going to be going with the Tremec is, is the same as why I'm not going to be going with like an NV4500. Uh, even though that's a popular swap, it's a rather robust transmission, um, is that the Tremec has a warranty, um, it's a new transmission. It's it's not something I pulled, you know, from the junkyard. It's a brand new transmission. And so, you know, there's that aspect to it. And the thing is, is true. If I were to go to a junkyard, you know, and buy a, uh, you know, the ZF transmission, out of an F-250, I'm still going to have that same issue that, you know, it doesn't have a warranty and who knows what the state of its internals are like without, you know, ripping it open and, you know, that's just, that's just a pain. Um, another thing is, is that I want to, from what I can tell of the um, from looking online, the stock gear ratio for this truck is actually 410. And I'm thinking with the larger tires, that's just going, that's going to be just about right. I'm thinking, um, beyond that, you know, also, uh, fender flares. I noticed that the installation kit for the fender flares that I was looking at uh, states that you're supposed to trim about two inches. And you know, if you look at the fender the way it is right now, if I'm trimming about two inches off, that's it's going to pretty much eliminate all that. And there's like not too terribly bad on the rust. You know, I won't show you the underside because I won't show the underside. Yeah, because um, it it's a bit rusty under there. Um, but beyond those few few mechanical issues that are going to work out, um, yeah, truck's in great shape. So, all right. Well, that's enough for today. Y'all have a great one.